days. If you don't have Instagram worthy photos of your European vacation, did it even happen? I've been to more than 100 countries, all with one bag. And that bag included cute clothes and lipstick. Seriously, you don't need to lug your whole wardrobe across the world, even if you're traveling for up to a month. All you need is one bag. If you can't carry your own luggage, you've packed too much. For every hotel with a luggage cart and paved street, there's a town on a mountaintop on the Italian coast with 150 stairs. Try rolling that bag then. Whether your trip is for a week or a month, only pack what you need for seven days. Seven days? Trust me on this. You'll be glad your luggage isn't, you know, roughly the size of the cars you'll be riding in. <laughs> First, pick a color palette for your trip. You'll want a mix of patterns and solids with some bright pieces to mix things up. If it's not neutral or in your palette, it doesn't come on this trip. Here's a list of the specific pieces you'll need. should be a pair of flip-flops you wear in the shower or around the room. So two pairs. Shoes take up a ton of room and they're heavy. Not ideal when you want to have lightweight baggage. I typically bring one cute shoe, a boot or a sandal, and one athletic shoe. If you're on the fence about bringing anything, ask yourself, do I love it? Is it multi-purpose? Is it lightweight? Come on, stay strong. Now let's talk about the fun part, accessories. Skip the heavy jewelry and bring scarves and headbands instead. Here, take this one. Scarves are super versatile. Wear one as a headband, cover your shoulders at a religious site, add color to a plain top, even use it as a beach sarong. Once you've got your accessories, play around with mixing and matching. That tank top, it can be the base for five different outfits. Right? Am I swaying you a little? Sure, but how am I supposed to fit all of this into this? <laughs> Packing tricks, that's how. If you only do one thing, roll, don't fold. You'll save so much space. If you do two things, get some packing cubes. They'll help you stay organized and compress your wardrobe. With your clothes compressed, there's room for those things that make you really feel polished, like lipstick. Thank you. Now's not the time to get experimental. You want to go with your very favorite, can't live without products. Tubes and creams beat pressed powder and eyeshadows. Can't choose a favorite? Use a cotton swab to get a little bit of a few different shades. For the jewelry you do take, use straws to keep it untangled. Store in a lightweight jewelry roll versus a hard box. For smaller jewelry, like stud earrings, use a pill box. No more loose ends. If you're staying in a hotel, don't take up space with shampoo, conditioner, or soap. For those small items, hair oil, moisturizer, take just a little in a contact case. Label it so you don't mistake it for eyewear. At this point, if there's room left in your bag, this is the perfect opportunity to bring that one item that'll make your stay a little nicer. For me, it's my fedora. For you, it might be your hair dryer, straightener, those heels, the best part about packing light is that you leave more room for souvenirs. Speaking of souvenirs, don't skip open air markets for deals on everything from leather goods to shoes to jewelry. At most markets, the asking price is just the start of the negotiation. So don't be afraid to try haggling before you settle on a final price. So say you go a little overboard at the San Lorenzo market in Florence. 
You can always pick up a cheap second suitcase on the way to the airport to check all of your Italian fashion finds and wine and gelato. Okay, maybe skip the gelato.